What is happening, Planet Chinchilla fans, subscribers, etc.? I am coming to you today real quick about another one of the posts. Um, real quick before I get into this specific blog post, I just want to give all of you a reminder that are new here. Um, first and foremost, thank you for stopping by. And secondly, um, the big disclaimer to put out there is that from here on out, I'm going to try and start putting in these videos into all of the posts, just to give you guys a little bit of a better breakdown, a little bit more about what's going on with your chinchillas and the questions that you guys have so that I can provide the best answer possible. Um, another thing that I wanna start pointing out that I'm noticing people not really taking advantage of is throughout these posts, you'll see, especially for you new uh, chinchilla owners, you'll see um, blue links throughout the post most of those are to my other blog post. I have over 120 of them total. Um, if you're new to getting a chinchilla or you're thinking about getting a chinchilla, those are gonna help you dramatically and they're usually put in a spot um, where it makes sense. Sorry guys if the lighting goes a little bit bad here for a second while I go down where my chinchilla's at. But use those to your advantage. Use Planet Chinchilla to your advantage in general, the website. I built it specifically to help um, all of you get acclimated to owning a chinchilla. So anyways, let's get into the actual question, which is, are chinchillas allergy friendly? Again, it's, are chinchillas allergy friendly? The biggest thing I can tell you is, if you have bad allergies to pets, there's obviously no guarantee that you're not going to have a little bit of an allergy to a chinchilla. Um, but compared to other pets, <laughs> they're gonna be about as good as it gets, um, mainly because they do not really shed, and I'm gonna show you some of that right now. So I'm down in my basement where my chinchilla, well, there she is actually, if you guys wanna see her, get you a little bit of a close up here. These guys, these chinchillas do not really shed. This is a two year old female chinchilla. Let me get a better close up here for you over. But the shedding is minimal, and the dander is minimal. So when it comes to any kind of allergies that you might get, if you're anything like me, like say you had her out holding her, and then you know you rub your eyes or your nose, then you might have more of an allergy problem to deal with, it, but it, I can't imagine it would be anything bad. Most people say that the only allergies that they even closely encounter when they own a chinchilla is more related to the hay, which you can see the hay right here. So if you're allergic to Timothy hay, which I don't think is super common, then maybe that would be an issue, but I doubt it. And then the chinchilla dust, which actually I was shooting a video earlier. There is dust inside of that green container there. Those are gonna be the two main ones. And she, she stays down here all the time. I've had her a couple years, but these are like the light tracks up here. You don't see a ton of dust, dander, nothing like you would see with a dog or a cat. Um, I mean, you don't even see hair really throughout her cage. Hopefully not. Hopefully I've been keeping it clean enough for her here. But overall, guys, when it comes to allergies with these guys, it's going to be minimal. I would say yes, they're completely allergy friendly. For us, again, if you have any allergies to Timothy hay or the actual, you know, volcanic dust that these guys use to take their baths in, then you might get a sneeze here or there. But overall, a very allergy friendly pet. Um, really that's all I can think of to tell you guys on this topic. That's really all there is to it with them. Again, minimal shedding, not much of any allergies. I'm actually very allergic to most pets and I have zero, zero, zero issues with her. I've never had any allergies. I've never had any problem with the hay. Um, yeah, biggest thing again, if you are new to this channel, to this blog, Use the rest of the blog post to your advantage. Again, I try and highlight it and make it very easy to navigate on the website so you can learn as much as possible. Especially if you're in that range where you're kind of on the fence about adopting a chinchilla and you have questions about you know, what to feed them, um, how to keep them clean, what kind of behaviors they have. It's all in this blog. There's over 120 posts. Click around, have some fun with it, leave some comments. Let me know what you guys want to learn about. I can't help you if you don't tell me what you guys need. And that's the entire reason I built this website and this YouTube channel. I just, I didn't have the answers I needed when I got started with my chinchilla. The, the blogs and the videos weren't great. So I wanted to make sure that all of you who are going through that process now don't run into that same problem. So again, throughout the post, feel free to read any of the other posts. And then 
thank you guys just for stopping by in general. Make sure you like down below, subscribe, hit that little bell icon so that you get notified when I make new videos. And keep coming back, share it with a friend, and we will catch you next time. Say bye to everybody. Chili, come on out here. Sorry, guys, she's not in the mood to be on camera today, but we will see you guys next time. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you.